Hi friends, hope you are aware that we are running a series of three videos to elaborate on the topic machine learning. In my first video, we spoke about supervised learning and here I come with my second video which is on unsupervised learning. So let's get started. Now comes the million dollar question, what is unsupervised learning? Now let me explain this concept uh, with my own example and then the technical things will anyways follow. So I'm not a big fan of football match but my husband is. So at times I have to sit next to him and watch some of uh, his favorite games. Now I don't actually understand the game and since he is engrossed in that game he doesn't have time to explain it all to me. So what do I do? I sit next to him and I keep watching all the actions on my television. And when I watch these, uh, I pick up some of the cues like which are the two teams playing, what is a goal and how many goals uh, each team have scored, what are the color of uh, t-shirt of each team versus the other one, how are audiences reacting when maximum audience is cheering. Uh, so I try to understand, okay, this is the favorite team of audience. And uh, also, based the action and the reaction of my husband, I pick up some more clues. So basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to learn about the game by the information that is coming uh, across to me. I'm trying to cluster some of the information uh, like, uh, okay, the blue color t-shirt team is this team versus the yellow color t-shirt is. So I'm trying to cluster uh, the team members according to the t-shirt uh, color. I'm trying to build an association that, okay, this is a favorite team because audiences uh, are reacting um, uh, very heavily uh, for this or cheering uh, to this team. So this is, uh, if I have to tell you, this is exactly what happens with machine, where machines are uh, thrown with a lot of uh, information and they have to themselves learn about uh, it. And this is all is unsupervised learning. Now let's look at unsupervised learning from a technical frame. There are basically two types of unsupervised learning. The first one is called as clustering. So in this what happens like if I give a set of information to machine then machine tries to cluster it. For example if I am giving a, uh, images of animals then the machine will segregate it and create clusters of say cat in one place, dog in one place, lion uh, would be another cluster and so on and so forth. And uh, but when uh, we are working with machines, there are some algorithms which are helpful for uh, this type of unsupervised learning, which is we call it as clustering. And the algorithms are your k-means cluster, k-n clustering, and hierarchical uh, clustering. On the other hand, there is another so a type of unsupervised learning which we call it as association. So basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to establish a dependency of one data point with another and that's how we are doing one to one mapping. So if you uh, reflect back on my example of football match, so what I was trying to build an association that uh, the reaction of audience for a particular team is uh, very high and this inference was drawn because whenever there were some actions that were happening maybe a goal on the ground by that particular team audience were cheering at them more so these kind of association uh, uh, can be established so then uh, the organizers know that whenever there is a match of this particular team there would be more audience so that's how it gets profitable you should also look at uh, one of uh, my video on market basket analysis which is completely based on association rule and it might help you uh, understand the association built with one product to another and how e-commerce website is benefiting uh, by recommending you those products. 
And uh, so now coming back to the algorithms uh, which uh, helps in case of association is uh, your a priori and FB growth. Um, so that's all I had for uh, today's video on unsupervised learning. I hope this was very useful for you. And if you still have any questions, please uh, send it across to me. With that, me Sarika Hussain signing off for today. Have a good day.